Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make flashcards, multi line flashcards, and list flashcards. So let's just get right into it. Flashcards are one of the core features of RemNote, and you can turn any Rem into flashcards. For all the flashcards I talk about in this video, you can make up to two flashcards per Rem, practicing forwards or practicing backwards. So let's start with basic flashcards. These are going to be your go to flashcards if you want something simple, just a front side and a back side to your card. So to make basic flashcards, you're going to type the front side of your card, followed by a combination of angled brackets, and then the back side of your card. I'll demonstrate how to make all three of these flashcards right here. To make a forward only card, meaning you practice only one direction, go ahead and type the front side of your card, followed by two greater than angle brackets, and then the back side. To make a backwards card, meaning you're shown the answer first and you have to recall the front side of the card, Type in what you want the front side of the card to say, followed by two less than angle brackets, and then the back side. Now to make a double-sided card, these are two flash cards, one practicing forwards and one practicing backwards. Type the front side of the card, and then use the less than and then the greater than angle sign, and then type the back side of your card. Now these arrows between the flash cards represent which direction of practice they're going. So for this forward card, you're going to be shown the front of the card and told to recall the back side of the card. For the second one here, you're going to be shown the back side of the card and you'll be asked to recall the front side of the card. And for double sided with these double arrows here, you'll be shown both of those flashcards. If you click on the arrow between the flashcards, it's actually going to bring up the card preview. And here you can see what your flashcards are actually going to look like. All of your flashcards show the hierarchy, so you have context of where your flashcards are coming from and what they're asking for. And from this menu, you can also change the flashcard properties. You can change the type of flashcard, if you want to make it a basic, concept, or descriptor card. I'll cover these two in a separate video. You can change the direction of practice, so if you want this to be double-sided or forwards only, you can change that here. Or you can also use this area to disable this flashcard so it won't show up in your queue by clicking this button right here. Now let's move on to the multi-line cards. Multi-line flashcards are flashcards where you have multiple rem on the back side of the card. So if you want flashcards with multiple answers all shown at the same time, these are the flashcards you're going to want to make. To make multi-line flashcards, you're going to use the same syntax as the basic flashcards using the angle brackets, but then you're going to hit enter afterwards. I'll demonstrate again. So to make a forward only multi-line card, I'm going to type the front side of my card, type the two greater than angle brackets, and then hit enter. And now you're going to see that there's a down arrow, and this means that it's a multi-line card. So you can go ahead and add all the answers you want for this flashcard. And everything included in this dark bolded line here are included as part of the answer to this flashcard. Once you finish making this flashcard, you can use shift plus tab to outdent, and then press tab again to indent. And notice how it's a fainter gray line, that means it's not included in this flashcard. So next we have list flashcards. List flashcards are just like multi-line flashcards by having multiple rem as your answers, but they'll be shown in order. So this is great for learning pathways or algorithms or mnemonics, something where you have to remember a very specific sequence of events. So to make list flashcards, it's going to be the same as the multi-line, but instead of hitting enter, you're going to hit one period. So as a demonstration, let's make a double-sided list flashcard. So double-sided list card would be the front side of my card. I'm going to use less than followed by greater than to make that double-sided arrow. And then I'm going to hit one period. This down arrow means that it's a multi-line or list flashcard. And now you can type in the sequence of events. First, then second, then third. So when you study this flashcard, you're going to be first told to recall number one, and then recall number two, and then recall number three. And once you're finished making this flashcard, you can use shift plus tab to exit the flashcard editor, just like before. So let's quickly preview what these cards are going to look like. Remember, you can click on the arrow beside the card to preview it. When practicing multi-line cards, you're going to see a number beside the rem here. And that number just means how many rem are asked in that flashcard. So for this card, I have A, B, and C, that's three rem, and right here, it says three. Let's take a look at the list flashcard by clicking on the arrow. Again, it shows three, 
but here you'll be tested first, then second, then third. For multi-line or list rem, you can also toggle between which one you want to use with this button here. Test one by one, or turning it back into a multi-line rem with this button here. And last thing for this video, I want to show you how you can access your flashcard properties. So you can view your flashcard metadata by going to any flashcard on the editor, typing in backslash metadata, and hitting this right here will bring up the stats for that flashcard. You'll get things like when it was created, the last time you updated it, how many cards are there, if it's forwards or backwards. You'll also be able to see where it is in your spaced repetition algorithm and when the next time you're supposed to practice it is going to be. All right, everyone. So that was how to make basic multi-line or list flashcards in RemNote. I'll cover the concept descriptor cards in another video. And I'll also cover the image occlusion and close or the fill in the blank type flashcards in another video as well. Thank you.